Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to swap two integer variables without using a third variable. For this, we are going to use a XOR operator. So there is an operator symbol like this. There is a cap symbol which is called XOR operator. It's a binary operator which is used for implementing XOR gate. XOR gate, how does it work, you know? So if I have a value like this, which I want to XOR with uh, uh, 1001, the result will be, say for example, this first digit, first digit, both are same means, I'm 00, second is also 00, I'm 00, then uh, 1 and 0, so if the bits are different, the answer will be 1 for that, again uh, 1, 1, the fourth bit, the return is 0. So this will be the XOR value between these two. So we will be using this XOR operator to exchange two values. Okay, so let's go into an example. So let me have one uh, variable called A, integer variable having 382. And we will have one more uh, value B having 9382 as a value. Now we want to swap these two. It's a very simple uh, one expression we'll be using. Uh, we have to use uh, in this fashion. So if I put this way, it is nothing but actually A equal to A cap uh, B. Okay, so this is the equivalent form is uh, this way we can write. Um, so first uh, we are doing uh, A equal to A cap B. Then the result is stored in A. Then we have to do with b b equal to b cap that a we got okay the result is stored in b then we have to do with again with a like this so first uh, this will solve the whole problem of swapping two variables but uh, since this is an expression and this expression uh, this operator combination will be solved from right to left right to left uh, because all are same uh, precedence so in this uh, uh, expression the right to left will be happening uh, this is a precedence operator precedence once only so here if you see with an example say for example i'll keep a equal to uh, 1010 b equal to say 1001 like this uh, if you want to swap if you want to check whether whether they are actually swapped or not uh, 382 is a different mechanism here here we'll have only uh, 1010 and 1001 okay we'll just check it whether it will work or not see a equal to a cap b and it is stored again back in a so first we'll be solving that a equal to a cap b so it will be 0 0 1 1 and it is stored in A. Okay. The next uh, this will be solved uh, B equal to B cap A. So B will be assigned with the B cap. So we will be doing a cap with these two. So 1 0 gives it 1, 0 0 gives it 0, gives it 1, 0. Now B is containing this one. Again this is done with A and stored back in A. A equal to A cap, A equal to A cap B. A is this one so it is 1 0 0 1 so that is stored in A now this is the end now you see here initially we started with A having 1 0 1 0 now the B is having 1 0 1 0 uh, B is having 1 double 0 1 that is uh, stored in A now okay so it is swapped okay so this is how you can swap two variables without using a third variable now i can just print it out and see we'll print a and b and be seeing swapped ones see here so we print a a is containing 9382 and b is containing 382 so it is swapped so i hope you like this. Thank you.